Alright, hi guys, welcome back, and we will now be doing Unit 7F, and the theme for 7F is Health and Fitness, and let's go on to Unit 7F. Alright, Unit 7F, our theme is Health and Fitness, and let's talk about Health Education. Okay, Unit 7F we're looking at healthy eating now read the title and look at the pictures what do you think the text is all about first of all you know i always start my lesson by asking questions pertaining to the pictures number one what do you see i see a boy and he's sticking out his tongue number two what do you see i see a hand labeled nails and number three what do you see i see lips Right, so from all of the three pictures, what can you assume that the lesson is going to be all about? We're looking at healthy eating and what does that have to do with the pictures at hand? Well, the foods that we eat have an effect on our bodies and our nails and lips as you can see and even our tongue. So what does the food have to do and how does it impact our health? So what do you think the text is all about? Well, we'll have to find out together, just a little bit of an introduction, okay, I think the text will be about foods that we should eat to have healthy tongues, nails and lips. If we think about some of the foods that we can eat, we know that our fruit and vegetables plays an integral, integral part in our lives and if we talk about integral. It simply means that they play an important part because it contains all the vitamins and minerals that we need for a healthy living and healthy lifestyle. And if you can remember from Unit 7D, we talked about physical exercise. Well, if you exercise, you need to eat healthy as well. So looking at the three pictures, the tongue, the nails and lips, we can conduct or conclude the fact is we do need to eat healthy. And if we eat healthy, our body responds healthy to the food that we take in. Right, let's go on. Okay, let's first listen to the audio before we go on. And then we can take it from there. Healthy eating. What we eat and drink affects our health. But did you know that your tongue, lips, and nails can tell you a lot about your health? Find out how healthy you are and see if you need to change your diet. Tongue. A healthy tongue is pink in color, moist, and smooth. What if my tongue is red? You may need folic acid. What should I do? Eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. Nails. Healthy nails are pink to dark pink. What if there are white spots on my nails? You may need zinc. What should I do? Eat foods rich in zinc like pumpkin and sunflower seeds. Lips. Healthy lips are deep pink in color and moist. What if my lips are pale pink and cracked? You may need iron. What should I do? Eat foods rich in iron like meat, liver, lentils, whole grain cereal, and green leafy vegetables. Alright, that's the end of the listening passage, so let's all read it all together. If we look at the tongue, what are some of the information that's given. A healthy tongue is pink in color, moist and smooth. So what if my tongue is red? Well, you may need folic acid. What should I do? Eat lots of fruits and vegetables. May I also say that for a healthy tongue, you'll notice that when you have sores on your tongue, it may be due, a, it may be due to a change in your diet. 
Some people, when they are fasting, it's the body's way of saying that you change your diet or something is wrong. And sometimes when that happens, you may have come across some sores on your tongue, a little bit of white sores. Well, that can be cured with some mouthwash. Most of the time it's not permanent at all. All that it means that you need some folic acid in your diet and the solution for that is to eat lots of fruit and vegetables because they are rich in, one of, in some of these vitamins and minerals that you need. Alright, next one, healthy nails are pink to dark pink. Uh, I'm sure some of you came across the white spots on your nails, so if you never knew what these spots indicated, now is a good educative lesson to tell you that these white spots may have been a symptom of the fact that you needed zinc in your diet and what can you do? Eat food rich in zinc like pumpkin and sunflower seeds and I'm a huge fan of pumpkins, not so much of the sunflower seeds, but I do eat them, but I love pumpkin very much. All right, lips. Lips are deep pink in color and moist. Now, you may have come across the fact that your lips become a little bit dry and cracked. Sometimes it may also be an indication of the weather, uh, promoting to a season change that your lips become cracked and the simple solution for that is to put on some lip balm or as the article suggests you, you may need iron and what should you do eat food rich in iron like meat liver lentils whole grain cereal and griefy leaf vegetables so these are some of the foods that you can eat to promote a healthy diet if your lips are a little bit cracked uh, liver is very good for you. I was not a fan of liver for a long time, but I've come uh, across the fact that I need it in my diet. Lentils as well. Um, lentils is a food that's rich in iron. And some of the foods like your meat, if you look at fish, it contains a little bit of iron as well, which is good for you and good for your lips as well. Alright, so what we eat and drink affects our health, but did you know that your tongue, your lips and nails can tell you a lot about your health? So find out how healthy you are and see if you need to change your diet. Alright, let's go on to our next page. Okay, read the text again and complete the sentences. So, we have a couple of questions that we need to answer. And this is a good uh, time to see if you paid attention. At this point in time, I do not want you to go back and look at the answers, but see if you can remember some of the things that we talked about. Okay, so question number one, what we eat and drink affects our what? Can you remember? Affects our health. Okay, number two. Whole grain cereals and lentils are food and what's the missing word in iron? So when we talk about food and we talk about vitamins, we say that they are rich in iron. It has nothing to do with money but has everything to do of the amount of vitamins and minerals contained in them. Right, number three, healthy lips are not dry, they are and what's the correct word? The missing word is moist. Now there's a difference between moist and wet lips. As you'll notice that if someone's lips are wet, immediately you will notice it and they will need to wipe it off. When lips are moist, they have a wet texture, but they are not wet. So there's a difference. So moist meaning that if you take your tongue and you lip your, lick your lips, you'll notice that it becomes moist. Right? Question number four, fruit contains what? Okay, and the missing word there is folic acid. Right, and question number five, white spots on your nails is a sign that you, what's the missing word? Zinc in your diet. Right, so the missing word that we have here is may need. All right, quite an interesting lesson. Let's go on to the next slide. Alright, 
now explain the words in bold okay there's a couple of words that we are going to go through some of the words that we need to look at is right on top affect our health and diet now let's look at the first word affects what we eat and drink affects our health so when we talk about affect we talk about what we eat and drink has an impact okay uh, or it changes our health okay our health is our a state of being we know that a healthy person is someone that is fit and is able to do exercise is able to do the workload that's given to him and we know that someone when he's not healthy maybe he has a headache so I'm sure that you are familiar with the word health second word that we have is diet our diet refers to the food that we eat and drink as well remember you need to drink at least eight glasses of water a day so diet refers to what you put inside your body okay so whatever you put in will reflect outside what am i saying is that if you eat lots of fried foods and vegetables it will show on your body because fried foods contains lots of oil and you'll notice it on your skin as well so if you eat healthy like your fruits and vegetables and eat steamed meat and so forth you will notice the color of your skin your nails is glowing and that's an indication of a healthy person right fruit and vegetables i do not need to explain to you because i'm sure that you are familiar and come across these things when you go to the market or you go to big c or you go to co-op mart i'm sure you're familiar with fruit and vegetables right and all right and let's go on okay next word that we're going to talk about is dark I'm sure you're familiar with the adjective dark pink well it's the color on the nails like well you can't see my nails now but healthy nails are dark uh, zinc is a supplement that you need for your body for healthy functioning of your body as well um, I'm sure I do not need to explain pumpkin as well as liver liver is the organ that it refers to and I'm sure I don't need to explain cereal as well because this is what you eat every single morning so if you go to Big C you can have cereal like your um, some of the popular brands is Kellogg's or your Quick Oats those are some of the cereals that you need to consume if you want to have healthy lips but whole grain cereals take note of that so I think Kellogg's falls in this category well enough. All right, so then let's go on to our next page. List all the types of food mentioned in the text. Tell your partner which one you like to eat and which ones you don't. Now, since you do not have a partner with you, can you still remember all the types of food mentioned in the text? As we can see, some of the food mentions are our fruits like your apples your bananas your peas your vegetables including your broccoli and your pumpkins we have your pumpkin seeds sunflower seeds we have meat we have lentils whole grains green leafy vegetables right these are some of the foods that were mentioned in the text all right so tell your partner which one you like to eat and which ones you don't again if you have someone next to you who you would like to practice your english on that's perfectly fine and i would encourage that for your speaking and to grade it better right let's go on to our next slide think of new things that you learned from the text this was a very informative text that taught us a lot about the vitamins and the minerals that we need and the health education so if you can think of new things you learn from the text some of them being um, what i should eat to have a healthy tongue and healthy lips and nails so why is it important to eat healthily 
I'll let you think of that first and you can pause the video. Why is it important to eat healthily? Well, it is important to eat healthily so we don't get sick or become overweight or underweight. We need to eat healthily to maintain our energy levels and make sure we don't develop a condition such as diabetes. And diabetes is simply the body's form of saying that it cannot process the sugars in our bodies anymore. So diabetes is not a good thing. So stay away from sugars, but do consume sugars in its natural form. And that is fruit, contains lots of sugars. I know your grapes, I know some of the bananas. These fruits contain lots of sugars and those are referred to as healthy sugars that you need to consume. Now raisins contain lots of sugar as well and this is necessary for you and for your body. You'll notice that raisins are actually just dried grapes. So it helps you and gives you energy to perform your tasks during the day. Alright, let's look at a video and then we'll continue after the video. Healthy eating. How do you feel today? Do you feel healthy? Did you know that what we eat and drink affects our health? Did you know that your tongue, nails and lips can tell you a lot about your health? A healthy tongue is pink in color, moist and smooth. If your tongue is too red, you may need folic acid. You should eat more vegetables and fruit. Healthy nails are pink to dark pink. What if you have white spots on your nails? You may need zinc. You should eat foods rich in zinc, like pumpkin and sunflower seeds. Healthy lips are deep pink in color and moist. What if your lips are pale pink and cracked? You may need more iron. Foods rich in iron are meat, liver, lentils, whole grain cereals and leafy green vegetables. It is important that you drink enough and stay hydrated. Water is the best drink to help you stay hydrated. Do you eat healthy foods? Which are your favorites? All right, let's move on. Judging from our videos, there's some questions. And if you've paid attention, let's go through some of the questions that were asked. Okay, so match the foods 1 to 6 to their health benefits, A, B, and C. So we look at leafy greens, fruit, sunflower seeds, whole grain cereals, vegetables, and pumpkin. And what are their health benefits and how can they help us? The first one being leafy greens. Do you think it's A, B, or C? And the correct answer is C. So leafy greens contains lots of iron. If you look at some of the fruit that we consume, what are some of the health benefits? We look at A, B or C and we see that the health benefit is A and fruits contain lots of folic acid. Well number three, sunflower seeds. What are the health benefits? A, B or C and if you've guessed B, zinc, you've guessed it correctly. Okay, whole grains, cereals, what are some of the benefits that we can get from whole grain cereals? And that is C. And then vegetables, what are some of the benefits? A. And then we have pumpkin, some of the health benefits of pumpkin is B, zinc. Right, if you've guessed all of them right, then I would say that you are on the correct path. Right, let's go on to our next slide. 
Okay, I think that's the end of it because we do not need to do this. An important question that you can ask yourself is why do we need vitamins? You can think for yourself and ask yourself the question. And if you would like, you can practice on someone. But for now, we'll go to the workbook. Alright, looking at our workbook, we can see in Unit 7F, if you guys are ready, Reading. Read the text and choose the sentence which best describes each text. Right. Number one, looking at a ping pong competition. What you have to do here is look at the sentences and find the main idea of what was said. So number one we see, and as we all can read, finalists have to arrive at least one hour before the game. If they fail to do so, they will not be allowed to participate in the finalist. Right, so A, B or C, the competition will stop if finalists come late. Is that the correct response? To compete, finalists must be there on time or finalists who don't come will lose the competition C. Right, so what is the main idea of the text and we can see the correct answer is B. To compete, the finalists must be there on time. Right, number two, computer crashed. Did, didn't get your email in time, can you send it again, Jim? Right, so what's the main idea that is discussed in the passage? Jim wants a new computer, A. B. Jim wants to find his emails. C. Jim wants another copy of the email. Right, so what's the correct answer? And that is C. Jim wants another copy of the email. Right, number three. Stephen, your English tutor didn't make it today. We'll call later tonight to set up a new time Friday. Right, so Stephen's English tutor will be able to make up the lesson on Friday. That's A. Stephen's English tutor will call on Friday. That's B. Stephen's English tutor will not be home tonight. So what's the main idea of the passage? And that is A. Student, Stephen's English tutor will be able to make up the lesson on Friday. Right, number four, refrigerate once bottle is opened. So, what's the main idea? You must put the bottle in the fridge. You must put the bottle in the fridge after you opened it, which is B or C. You must open the bottle before you put it in the fridge, C. So, what's the main idea? And we can see B. You must put the bottle in the fridge only after you've opened it very important and what's the word that attracts our attention and gives us a clue is the word once so refrigerate once bottle is open <coughs> right number two we look at vocabulary underline the correct word referring back to the passage that we just did to our lesson Number one, a healthy tongue is moist or wet. Remember that the forward slash means or. So a healthy tongue is moist or wet. Well, the correct answer is moist. Okay. Number two, healthy nails are heavy or dark pink. And the correct answer for number two is dark. Okay, healthy nails are not heavy pink, but dark pink. Right, number three, when it's cold, lips may crack or break. Can you guess the correct answer? Well, if you guessed crack, then you are correct. Because lips do not break, but they indeed crack because of dryness. Okay, number four, meat and liver are full or rich in iron. So number four, meat and liver, we say are rich in iron and number four number five the food we eat can affect or change our health so we say affect okay the food we eat can indeed affect our health we do not say change because it does not change our health 
Right, going on to our dictation part, I will play the dictation. Okay, you will listen and write. Now, just a reminder for you to practice. I want you guys to write as I play it, and I want you to pause it and play it over before I give the answer. This will only help you with your writing and your ability to listen and take in what has been said. All right, let's go on to our dictation. All right, let's go on to our dictation. Unit 7F, exercise three, page 50, dictation. John is one of the best football players at his school. He has been playing football for many years, and he has been the captain of his school team since he was 12 years old. He's already won two medals. Though he hasn't played on a professional team yet, he hopes to play for his country one day. Listen and write. John is one of the best football players at his school. He has been playing football for many years. And he has been the captain of his school team since he was 12 years old. He's already won two medals. Though he hasn't played on a professional team yet, He hopes to play for his country one day. Listen and check. John is one of the best football players at his school. He has been playing football for many years, and he has been the captain of his school team since he was 12 years old. He's already won two medals. Though he hasn't played on a professional team yet, he hopes to play for his country one day. All right, that's all from our dictation. Now I will put the slide on for you if you did not get that I would advise that you go back and listen to the dictation again before I give you the answer just to see that you are on the right path okay so I will go back okay and this is the answer key for what we just did now take a close look at it and you can pause the video and fill in the correct answers so that's all for me and see you again. Goodbye.